My first professional gig was in early 1979 at a small nightclub bar in Woodland Hills, California on Ventura Boulevard in a little strip mall and it had no f windows in the front, just a door. I don't think there were any windows in the whole bar. And I was a uh, 10th grade high school and uh, me and my two band buddies, two of the five of us went into uh, this bar one night, just walked right in. We sat and we listened to this really, what I thought was this awesome band that had tons of sound equipment and great guitars and amps and great sounds and they were a touring band from the east coast i think they were from pittsburgh actually and they said they'd open some shows for heart and heart would have been like on their like second second album at the time um and uh i think that this was like a looking back on it this had to have been run by the mob because I was 15, just 15. My bandmates were 16 and 17. And one guy was pretty tall and he had facial hair. I don't think I was shaving at the time yet. And uh, clearly we were not over 21. The bartender happily served us. I think we were the only three patrons in the bar. And then uh, when we said we had a band and we'd like to book a show, he said, well, come on back into my office. And he took us back into this cheap wood paneled office at the back of the bar and with our drinks in hand and 15 year olds. And uh, we booked a gig. And uh, I think we brought a lot of friends and family for like a Friday night show. I don't I don't even remember that we knew more than four songs. So I'm not really sure. We did like the Stones, Beast of Burden. Uh we did a bunch of fog hat material. I don't know. Rolling some stones. Anyhow, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we got booked. And then uh, and it was great. I think there was one picture of me, a Polaroid that was taken, and it was at my parents' house. The last time I saw it was 30 or 40 years ago, so I don't know that it exists anymore. And the other funny part was at the end of the night, my friend's 25-year-old uh, sister totally came on to me and was hitting on me in the parking lot after the show. And I I didn't know what to do about that. <laughs> Things did not work out there between us. Uh, she ended up uh, hooking up with the 16-year-old bass player in the band, Gary. And um, <clears throat> my friend Dan, his sister, her sister, her brother, he'd be calling me all the time and telling me how Gary's over at his house all the time when his parents aren't there, it's screwing his sister, just night and day. <clears throat> Anywho, that's my story.